I'm here to uh, talk about one station, the LiDAR station. And uh, there is going to be a LiDAR station at the fair. And uh, you can bring up this website, which was a website created by the University of Minnesota. And the purpose of the website is to show you how much solar energy there is uh, at any particular property. So you enter the address within the state of Minnesota, and the address will pop right up. And the bright color shows where there's loads of sun, and the um, and the dark colors show where there's lot, where the sun is being absorbed. Really, <coughs> there's sun everywhere, but uh, the trees do a fantastic job of absorbing the sun and doing the photosynthesis thing. So uh, they look dark. So uh, um, now, when people come up and want to see whether their house is a good house for solar, they can put the solar on the roof or they can put it on the land. And uh, the interesting thing about people is that some people can easily look at an orange image and pick their house out. And some people just can't do it. So you go to this hamburger right here and you can turn off the orange layer and then help people find their house. But then you go to that hamburger, you turn the orange layer back on and then people can see whether there's solar energy, okay? so. Uh, just another note, there's as much sun right here as there is right here, so why is this brighter? Well, this is probably a field. There's probably grass here. So um, even though it doesn't look as bright as this roof, it probably has as much sun. So if you're working on the LiDAR station and people want to know whether their house is good for solar, you type in their address, you bring up their house, you find their house, and you talk to them about it. Would you tell them how popular this exhibit is? It is enormously popular, and there's usually a huge line. And the more you know about Minnesota's electricity, the better. They'll talk to you about everything. You'll hear about every co-op in the state. <laughs> yes? Okay, real quick, when you, put, when you click on the area you want to test, most of this LiDAR has, a lot of the counties have an eight meter resolution, so not a one meter resolution. You want to make sure you click on the middle of that rope. It's if you're near the top, it's going to read the dark side of the rope. Right, so he's pointing out a detail that I skipped. You're able to click on a particular spot, and then that spot will tell you how much sun is going to hit that roof or that piece of property each month of the year. And this lower section right here tells you roughly how long it would take to pay back a very typical system. Now, if somebody has uh, one of those modern sit frame houses with 25 gables on top, it's not going to be so easy for them to stick a solar array on it. But if somebody has a nice little ranch house with a nice smooth roofing and self, bam, that's a great, great um, uh, possibility. Okay? So uh, when you get up to this uh, station, you know, feel free to work on it, but also feel free to take a look at it yourself and monkey around with it. Can yes, sir? Look at it at home? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. If you type in into Google solar <laughs> suitability, this site will come right up. Uh, I got a few people uh, last year who had houses that weren't in Minnesota. Is there any equivalent of that for any other states to give them to go to, uh, website to go to? The question is, uh, what happens if people from North Dakota or Wisconsin come up? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Actually, uh, I literally don't know whether there are websites in the adjacent states, but there will be people who come up. But, and we love our neighbors who come in to spend their money, but I don't know, but I really don't know the answer. Yes? Okay. There is a site called Sun Number. Sun Number. Okay. Thank you. There's also a site called Project Sun Number. Project Sunroof. <laughs> Did I mention that you should take the 87? No. Take the parking ride from uh, Dunwoody? No. Take the bike. There's just a million of everything. Is this updated? There yeah. was an issue with it being old, the data old. Oh, uh, interestingly, the state who puts this website together has to pay for the base map and they have to pay for the, the uh, LiDAR map, the orange map. They're not the same age and they are somewhat out of date. So if somebody put up a SIP house in the last year, you're gonna find a nice orange picture of the land as it existed before the house was put up. So 
the dates of the surface map and the LIDAR map might be a little off. <coughs> All right. So it's from, LIDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. Uh, it's a great site by the U of M. We live in a fantastic state. Did I ever mention that? Uh, let's see if you've got sun. Now, if you don't have any sun, you could join a community solar garden. Next. So um, we have a, you'll have you'll have a card, and the card will have our URL, and you can go onto the URL, and you can ask for a solar site assessment, or you can apply to join our community solar garden, as Barbara mentioned. So um, the community solar gardens we built, well, we have one done. It was built by a grant, and it, the grant restricts us to servicing low-income households, and you're shaking your head no. I don't believe that that was actually part of the grant. I think that was a decision that we made afterwards. Okay, well, it's low-income. So uh, <laughs> there's a list of programs that people who are low-income might already belong to. <clears throat> So just have a look at that. And um, so people who come up, they want to know if they can use solar, you can help them figure out if they can put it on their roof. If they can't put it on their roof, they can use a community solar garden. If they're a low income household, they can use our community solar garden. And CERTS <coughs> has a list of community solar gardens around the state. Well, I just spoke with CERTS today. They say they're overwhelmed with this. There's so many solar gardens coming up. They're, they're not able to keep the list up to date. And like any data that's put on the web, it's obsolete. <laughs> uh, okay, do I have anything else? <clears throat> oh, okay. So um, we have once we MRES built one solar garden that's done. One in Hayfield is coming online next year. The one on the new east side storage and maintenance facility should be on in 2021. Uh, CERT is a very good resource, even if they are somewhat out of date. We have cards to hand out that tell people where our URL is. Uh, people who want to join our community solar garden will save about $25 a month. And uh, they have to plan on staying in their home. They have to be a resident of one of the counties that abuts Hennepin County or Hennepin County. And they have to belong to one or more of the following programs. So that's it. I think that's my last slide. Okay. So, um, great.